Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. Today we're going over everything I love and hate about my Mini 2801. So let's jump right into it. So right here is my 2022 Winnebago Mini 2801, which I just did a 10 day trip in. If you've been following the channel for a while, you know I did a bunch of upgrades before my trip. Now today I'm gonna go over everything I love, hate, and everything that I still need to change. So let's start with the outside. Firstly, as you can see, the Winnebago is pretty dirty. We do winter camp and we were in some snow with this, but unfortunately, my detailing closet right here, with all my cleaning stuff, had some pipes burst during that crazy freeze. So I will be cleaning this as soon as I fix that. Starting back here, let's talk about something I absolutely love. It's the electronic stabilizers. On my Micro Mini, I had the manual crank stabilizers I had used an impact drill for that. This makes life so much easier. I don't have to carry around a drill anymore, but that makes life easy and I love that it is independent. So if you get in a camper, make sure you get that. If you look below there, you will see I have one dump station and out front here, there's another dump station. That is for a gray and over here is gray and black. I have two gray tanks for the shower and the bathroom here and that one's for the kitchen. What I don't like is that there's two. What I want is two, but one connection. So I might be able to join these up so I can drain in one location. Moving up front, we'll see this massive slide. It is a must, I love slides. This slide adds so much space inside and I absolutely love it. Up front, something that is cool, but not this storage is massive. I don't even use all of it. What is crazy though, is it is heated and it gets way too hot in here. So I'm gonna half the amount of air that comes in to this storage area. Moving over to this side, you see I have one battery. That's just the stock battery that comes with the unit. And I will talk about that later, but we need more power. Coming down the side here, nothing really fancy. One thing I need to still add is a TPS monitor because I need to make sure I can monitor these tires when we're going down the road. All right, now an awesome feature and a not so awesome feature is hidden behind this door. So let's open it up. Alrighty, so here's the outdoor kitchen and a fridge area. I don't want a fridge outside. This is gonna be where my new batteries are gonna live. This is gonna be my solar panel control area. Over here is the outdoor kitchen. Absolutely love it, use it all the time. But what I hate is this massive cable. Funny enough, I've done 24,000 miles in my camper. That's right over there and I never plugged that in using the stock cable. I converted that to a solar power system straight away and I just use a regular extension cord because it runs off the inverter. I hate having these cables. They're massive, they're hard to use, especially in the winter. So I want to get rid of this and go to the system I have on the other camper. Moving back here, everything is great. The storage room is okay. I don't really have a dirty storage locker to keep all the black, tank hose accessories and right here is the bunk room so i don't like having anything dirty in the bunkhouse so i gotta figure out a solution for back here one thing i do have on my other camper is i have cameras all around firstly for when we boondocking i can see what's outside of us when we're inside but also a huge advantage is to see down the road when we're driving and backing into a spot or whatever so i need to add a camera up there and I'm gonna add cameras on the side. So stay tuned if you wanna see that video. Now, before we go inside, let's talk about these stairs. These stairs are sturdy, they are great, but I absolutely hate them. If you look over here, when these stairs go in, whatever's on the stairs gets dumped into the cab. So you see the stones, the rocks, whatever. I'm not a fan of these. I do like the pull out stairs. Granted, they aren't sturdy, but they're better than having all of this junk come inside. But enough complaining, let's jump in and see all the cool things. Now that we're inside and it's nice and warm inside, let's go to the front of the camper, to the bedroom, and talk about one of the most important upgrades every camper needs. So if you followed all my series about upgrading the camper, you know it's essential to upgrade your mattress. Flashback. End 
of Flashback. Now right behind me is a Brooklyn bedding mattress and if you want to upgrade your mattress I highly recommend going to rvmattress.com forward slash gas tax and use the coupon code gas tax for 20% off. Now I don't know about you but RV mattresses are terrible so the first thing you always got to do is upgrade your mattress. I'm telling you don't even bother trying to sleep on the stock mattress because it is awful and it's going to ruin your first night in your new camper. Go straight to rvmattress.com and upgrade your mattress. Make sure you measure your current mattress and choose a size that fits. Right behind me is a standard queen mattress. My mattress that came with the camper was only about 8 inches. I went for this big boy, it is 12 inches deep. One thing you may want to do is make sure if you do increase the height, if you want some space between you and the nightstand, you want to make sure you got plenty of space there. Right there is perfect amount of space for my arm to slip in and put my phone. So a couple things that are great about RVMattress.com and Brooklyn Bedding is firstly, they are made right here in America in Arizona. They ship free to your door, so none of those surplus charges for these big packages. And you have plenty of mattresses to choose from. Right here, I am sleeping on the Aurora Hybrid, and I went with the 12 inch. There are many different firmnesses. You can get firm, medium, or soft, all the different mattresses out there. So find something that you think you will like. And what's also great is if you don't like it, you have a 120 night comfort and quality guarantee. So if you aren't happy with how you're sleeping in the 120 nights, just contact them and they'll ship you a different mattress. So guys, check out rvmattress.com forward slash gas tax and use coupon code gas tax for your unique deal. So thank you Brooklyn Bedding and RVMattress.com for supporting this build and this mattress because I absolutely love it. And right behind me is my TV that I upgraded and I love lying in this mattress and watching the TV. So let's talk about the next upgrades that I love. So there's the TV, absolutely love it. My wife and I found ourselves watching a lot of late night shows here and we were away from the kids making sure we didn't wake them up watching the big screen. So I would recommend if you have space, put a TV in your room so you can watch something with your spouse at night. Moving on over to the kitchen, one accessory I think everyone needs is a water filtration system. So right here I installed this baby, we use it all the time, we exclusively drink the water. I have a filter coming into the tanks and then there's a triple filter there. I have an install video on that so check it out. Another great thing is the paper towel holder right there, love it. One thing I would like to see improved is outlets. This should be an outlet here or here somewhere because right there is the only outlet on this whole corner of the camera. So I'd like to see an outlet so I can plug in this little heater and another thing is countertop space is okay on my other camper we had a fold up extension here I would like to see that so I'll be adding that later one thing that would be nice is having an oven I did get under there there is plumbing for the gas for an oven so maybe I'll upgrade that but so far everything works out great moving on over here this is the Dometic electric 12 volt fridge absolutely love this I didn't want it at first, I wanted a propane, but this gives you a lot more space. And let me tell you, this puppy can hold a ton. The one thing I do not like is it does drain the battery. But with my solar and battery upgrade, it will be just fine. So one thing I do like over here is this carpet I added. I absolutely love them. Ideally, if they matched, it's great, but this just works out perfect. It keeps it warmer on your feet. Uh, it also attracts the dirt better, so the dirt goes into the carpet instead of on your feet. So it'll give you a chance to uh, vacuum it up before it spreads around. But let's sit down in the couch. So this area is wonderful. This is my area. The kids can draw and do their games there. I can sit here, watch TV, or we can all sit here and watch TV. But one thing this place doesn't have is a place for your remote and a place for your drink. So what I want to add is a drink holder and a remote holder here and there. Because otherwise the remote just falls in the crevice of the couch and it's gone. And guys, while I'm filming this, I noticed I got holes and everything in my head here. I was working on something at work, something fell off the wall, whacked me in the head, so forgive me on that. Maybe some plastic surgery to make this better. So looking over here, this is our entertainment station. And one thing I love that I installed is this weather station. This weather station works out perfect. I love being able to see all the temperatures there. Right now it's 64 inside, it's 44 outside, it's 44 in the basement. I think it's great just to have everything right there and visible. Moving on this way, this ladder worked out fantastic. My kids can climb up and down, not a problem at all. A little training. This may be better if it was a bit down, 
them, but it works out fine now that they know how to use it. Let's go on to the bathroom. These towel hooks worked out perfect. I tell you, this camper must not bounce because I didn't even put my uh, hair tie trick on any of the towels and they hung out just fine. The one problem is this shower curtain. Now, my inner personality thinks I'm small and petite, but my physical personality knows that's a lie. And I am just too big for that shower. So I see in the older models of this camper, they had a bowed out curtain. So I wanna find that so I can replace that. Another thing I would like to do is get a Dometic 310 or 330, the elongated bowl of the toilet. No, these round ones are just weird. And another thing is I need to find a bigger sink. This sink is just too small. Moving on over to the entrance. The entrance is fantastic. We got this closet space here. It is wonderful. The problem is when you walk in, you take your shoes off and you try to keep the dirt all here, but you got to step this way to open this way. I'm trying to convince my wife to let me cut off a foot of that door so when we get in we can just throw the shoes in the shoe tray right there so we don't have this landing pad just full of shoes i did find that happening quite a bit so that's everything i love and hate about the upgrades slash camper so far there are some things that i can change and will improve over time but one of the most important things i want to do is get the solar and battery upgrade you see winter camping is still not a thing uh, at least in the northern part of America. And when you're trying to even go south for a, a vacation, not many campsites are open. And that really limits and destroys your uh, traveling because you end up staying at terrible campgrounds that are open, that aren't in the nice area, they're off the highway, or, you know, they just terrible so what I want to do is install my solar panel my battery so we can just find boondocking or or state parks with no hookups and really enhance our experience in the camper from the micro mini to this camper it is really a huge upgrade in space but really we've downgraded because I made my camper off-grid and now we're confined to the regular campgrounds and by regular that's also cut to about 10% because it's winter so now we have to find the ones that want to stay open in the high traffic highway areas in the winter and some of them are just not kept well so with that guys this camper has worked out fantastic my wife loves it my kids love it my dog loves it there's a lot more space in here and this camper is going to be ours for quite some time but there are some minor improvements that we will be getting to including the shower curtain the toilet upgrade the sink and the mega upgrade of the solar and battery system so be sure you stick around for all of that because this is going to be an insane off-grid camper very soon. So I'm going to put a name on it right now. I'm going to call this baby the Mega Flex or FLX series from Winnebago that I'm going to build out because I love the off-grid nature of camping and I need to get this baby all set for that. So guys, thanks a lot for sticking around and watching this video. Thanks a lot to Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring this video. But until next time, guys, see you around and happy camping.